Hello and welcome to another edition of Be Your Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do um, the next three beers are going to be from Sinister Bruco up in Dalkeith. At the start of September, I did four of their Seven Seas beers. Um, they were given to me by Ben the Beer Lad. Um, check out his channel. <clears throat> I think at the end of the, se the se end of the four, I said that they were really rough and they were borderline undrinkable. And if I remember rightly, they were really, they were so really edgy. But I'm a sucker for a series, and I found the other three, <clears throat> found the missing three, and here they are. Um, there was a bit, a bit of an issue with, with these. They were all assayed wrong, so their ABV was all, they're supposed to be all around about 11.2. I think Ben told me they were more into the 15 percenters. And I'm looking at these cans, and they've all got a different ABV on them. And I'll just run through that dead quick, and then we'll get stuck into the review. So this is the, um, the Mediterranean Imperial Stout, and this one is Plantation Rum Battle Aged with... Uh, Amberana wood and this is a 12% ABV beer um, <clears throat> this one is the Caribbean Sea Imperial Stout and it's a 23 year old uh, Caroni rum battle aged and this is 13% but on the front if you just look under there let's see if I can get this off it's 11.2 under there but it says 13% there and 13% over the over the 11.2 and lastly um, Pacific Ocean Imperial Stout this is the Heaven Hill Battle Age with Tonka Cocoa Nut and Vanilla um, and this one is 13% as well and they've actually scrubbed out the uh, the ABV but I know it was 11.2 I know they were all done they were all assayed wrong as I say I think <clears throat> on the last video the fourth one so that'll be on the 8th of September, there's a comment in there saying it was, I think it was Dalkeith Council. I said them and I said them wrong. Anyway, we're going to do the last, uh, we're going to do the, the final three in the series. As I say, I'm a sucker for a series of beers. Um, and we are going to look at this 12% one. <clears throat> here it is, here. And actually, something a little bit else, I can now read. The right on the back and the other ones it was black lighting and you couldn't read that weird of it so sinister sinister brew and other world brewing made this beer i am a gypsy brewer battle aged and canned at other world brewing in dalkeith scotland as part of the, of the series of seven imperial stouts aged in different barrels using the same base beer this one is a bit different as it was blended with other world brewing's excellent serious imperial stout in a barrel melding together to create a rich chocolatey delight along with vanilla and spice flavours from the barrel. I also have the Brazilian Ambrana, Ambrana wood, I've never heard of Ambrana, never heard of it. <clears throat> the name of this series was thought, thought up by Paul Newton the, uh, of beerprime.co.uk a beery podcast as, as it's worth checking out and of course the excellent artwork was done by the awesome charles snowden.com this delicious imperial stout is ready to be drunk now um, and will be and will sit quite happily to evolve in, uh, into something else over time share with a mate or save at whatever temperature you see fit that's what it says on the back. There you go. It says that all there. This is number 272 out of 372. As I say, the 12% ABV beer. All the labels are all the same, apart from what they are battled in. It is the uh, Sinister Bruco dude <clears throat> in a barrel being attacked by a massive octopus. And all the raindrops on these cans are raised to give you a bit of bit of grip on the can it's a nice little nice little little uh, feature anyway let's pop a top let's see what we've got I'm already four minutes in here we 
we go. So, beer in a glass. What have we got? Jet black beer. And we've got a dusting. We did have about half a finger on tanned head, but it's rapidly gone. So we've got a dusting of tanned head. It looks really cool. It does look very good. Let's get the nose and let's see what we can smell. Oh, booze. <laughs> Boozy. It is boozy. You can smell the sweetness. You're getting the sweetness off the rum. Roasted malt. Bit of chocolate in there. Offered a lot of chocolate in there. It smells really good. Oh, it pipes are full of alcohol vapor. <clears throat> right, let's go for the body carbonation. Cheers. Oh, oh that's nice. It's got a medium, medium body. It's got a light carbonation. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers, my dears. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, that is really nice. Bitter roasted malt, bitter dark chocolate. There's a little bit, I want to say, there's a little bit of tobacco in there. I um, just move the across a touch. I want to say there's a bit of tobacco in there. I, um, if I didn't know better, I'd also say there's a, there's a light tonka bean feel to it as well. You do get the rum at the very end, and you do get a vanilla -y tonka bean at the end as well it's really good it's really good but it is boozy it doesn't hide it's not trying to hide the alcohol i am um, yeah there's a lovely woodiness to it as well that's excellent it really is excellent there's a hint there's a hint of tonka in there I'm sure it's Tonka it could be you know it could be it could be that Amber Amberwana wood could be if that's the case I quite like that if that's the case <clears throat> because as I say it does taste almost Tonka-ish just have a little look see if it says what's in it, it just says oats wheat um, barley oats wheat hops and yeast doesn't say anything else. No, doesn't say anything else. It's really smooth. I am. It's lovely. It is. It's really good. But it's very boozy. I like it. The finish is great. I said if that is that. Uh, Amberana, Amberana wood, and that's lovely. It is tonkerish. Um, the rum's lovely, the rum has a nice little sweetness and a nice little warmth up front. I'd say it's roasted, toasted malt, and bitter chocolate, and a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of tobacco. Very good, I like that. Better than the other four, certainly. So, this is a Sinister Brew, uh, sinister, sinister Brew, Sinister Brews. Another world I'm brewing seven seas. This is the Mediterranean Imperial Stout coming in at 12%. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes. Um, I think when I turn the back about putting them away and letting them settle for a little bit, I think that's probably wise. It'd become, I think it'd become a much more rounded beer. But it's very good. Very good indeed. So if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. If you've had any of the other four, please let me know what you think. I am um, thumbs up the video, and thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe in this bottom corner down there, and I will see you on the next one. Stay late, stay safe. Drink what makes you happy. Good deal.